Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, made possible by our exclusive community at Patreon.com. Particularly if you are a regular viewer of RBDR, we encourage you to visit Patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Easy enough to remember. I'm Bob Letterer. Carolyn Sun is a contributing editor at Entrepreneur, and last week she authored top 10 money-making apps that you need to download now. Now, obviously, it's pointed at consumers, but she says that these apps can make you money. They won't make you rich, but they can earn you some respectable pocket money or maybe even pay for your monthly mobile phone bill. Several of the apps are market research oriented, although Sun cautioned that you should not accept any that ask for a fee to register or that overpromise potential earnings. Her top market research app choices, and they're all for iOS and Android, are of course her opinion, but Entrepreneur has a great deal of respectability in the public at large. The Money app is number one on her list, and it earns rewards for completing tasks that include providing opinions, checking store to play, displays, mystery shopping, testing services, and free trials. And the Money app scored a very high 4.0 out of 5 on both Google Play and iTunes. Next, iPoll. It's a customized research app which seeks help with market surveys that also includes rich, uh, written diaries and retail missions. And it got four out of five stars on iTunes and somewhat less, 3.1 out of five on Google Play. Swagbucks delivers a $10 signing bonus and then provides surveys among other opportunities. Sun notes that Swagbucks offers numerous survey opportunities, unlike a lot of others where third-party surveys are the norm and therefore not that many opportunities abound. Swagbucks gets a 4.3 out of 5, but only on a Google Play listing. And then our friends at Toluna, which Sun says stand out because users can get paid in cash via PayPal and get rewards for more than just taking surveys. Toluna gets a 3.8 from iTunes and 3.3 on Google Play. And finally, User Field, which offers participation in usability tests. These are followed by recorded feedback and critiques. But before you even get started, there is a qualifications test which records your voice and screens you through other given tests. Google Play gives User Field a 3.2. That's your Research Business Daily Report, made possible by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform Patreon.com. Special thanks to all of our current patrons. They are both large companies and very small companies, even in some cases single individuals. But they've all decided to continue to make RBDR possible by making some sort of a contribution. If you're interested in joining our community, and if you regularly watch RBDR, I'd like to think that you do, you will also get access to RBDR perks and services that go to people who are members of our patronage community. And you don't have to be large or any size at all in order to make a contribution. You can see on the patreon.com forward slash RBDR page how little you can uh, provide in order to join our patron community. Please do today. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.